Does this happen to you? You turn your fluorescent lights on and the light doesn't come on instantly. It takes a lot of time to blink and show. Then it's time to change the lights and that's pretty easy actually. So let's try it a few times. Here it's actually working pretty well. It could be even worse than this. These are fluorescent lights, but you might have LED lights. It depends uh, which kind of lights you have. Make sure you check the lights you have before you buy the new one. And if you have LED, good for you. That's a pretty good deal. But sometimes uh, you will have fluorescent lights if you didn't upgrade the system. So here it's only one light because um, I was a bit lazy to uh, reinstall the second uh, second light. The one light stopped working and I thought one light is enough. So in this fixture yours might be different but they always have some caps on the edges or some kind of way to lock it. That's just that you pull the sides so you can access the cover of the lights. Once you're here, make sure the light switch is off. This is really important. So there is no electricity flowing. Just remove the cover, however it looks like. There are so many kinds of lights that yours will definitely not look like the lights I have, but most of them work the same way. What they, all of them, most of them have is two, two holders for, uh, so you can have two lights. My model here is this one and for you it's important to know to note the mo the type of light because when you go to the shop to buy the new light it should be the same. Ideally you take the old light with you so you're really really sure that you get the correct one. To remove the light it's uh, it could be a bit tricky. You have to spin it counterclockwise. As you see the the brand name is on top while I spin it, it goes on the lower side. So that's counterclockwise. Like if you if you look at it, how the connections go inside the socket. And here it's on this side, on the right side is clockwise. So you have to be careful with that. The idea is you spin it until the, the pins show. So when the pins show, that means you can just pull the light out and that's it. These uh, fluorescent light tubes, when you replace them, the old ones, make sure you recycle them. The shop where you buy these uh, lights, you will have a bin where you recycle the old lights. They, they can have some harmful uh, substances in them, so do not break them, just take them as they are to the shop. To reinstall the light, you just do the opposite, basically, you put it with the, the polarity doesn't matter anyway it works and um, even if you spin it around but then you you rotate it here on the left side clockwise and on the right side counterclockwise and when you see the the logo on the writing that it's really high on the higher side then it's locked and you can try to turn on the lights to make sure it's working and it's working in this, uh, this example here actually didn't change this. Usually the light goes out when it turns black from the edges. So if you see a black, if you see black on the edges, it's time to change it. Yeah, when, when the, the light starts to have uh, black spots on the edges, then you know you need to be ready to change the light. In the shops, these are really cheap, the fluorescent lights, and you always are careful on the position of these uh, contact terminals, pins, how we call them. I'm not exactly sure how everyone calls them, but those you do not touch when the, the fluorescent light is in the holder. And always when you're working on this, keep the, the switch off. If you're not sure if the switch is off or on, then uh, the safest thing is to stop the power in the, all the lights in your house or apartment. If you touch the wires that are electricity, it's electricity, it's dangerous flowing through those uh, terminals, 
and uh, that you don't want. The nice thing about this system is that it's very difficult to shock yourself with this, but I'm pretty sure some people manage to do it, so really be careful, don't touch the metal parts while the lights are uh, inside. This is it. I hope this video is helpful. It's pretty basic, but sometimes it can be difficult to put these lights and to spin it especially. This is the hardest part actually for me. When you get the new light, maybe it doesn't fit precisely, so you just have to move it a little bit until it rotates. It needs to rotate all the way, like you saw in the video, so they are secure and safe, ready to use. Putting back the cover, it's uh, really simple. And your cover that you, you have, you know how you removed it, so this is how you put it back. You see the wires there, and there is also the starter that could cause this problem that is blinking like this. Let me know if you want to see a video about the starter, how to replace the starter for fluorescent lights. Give this video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful and also subscribe to see more videos like this. Yeah, eventually you turn on the lights and you make sure that they are uh, working properly and they are. Thanks for watching, I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below how you changed your lights and um, if you have any issues on how, how you prefer the lights. And also let me know if you prefer LED lights or the fluorescent lights. I think I would prefer LED lights but this is what I have so I'm just gonna use fluorescent lights for now. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time. Bye.